the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning and a warm welcome to one and all present here. Dear devotees, on behalf of our parish priest, Father Louis Kazar, and parish members, we welcome you to Our Lady of Fatima Church, Kajal. The Holy Bible says, When the appointed time had come, God sent His Son, born of a woman, a subject to the Lord. On 13th May to 13th October 1917, the Blessed Virgin Mary appeared to the three little shepherd children at Fatima, Portugal. Their names were Lucia, Jacinta and Francisco, for six times in succession. This beautiful lady, dressed in white, stood in a bright cloud over a small oak tree with a rosary hanging from her hands. She said to the children, Have no fear, I have come from heaven. I want you children to come here on the 13th day of each month until October. And she gave them a message of prayer, penance, and peace. This year is the 87th annual pilgrimage of Our Lady of Fatima Shrine, Karcher. It is coming after two years of global health crisis. Our main celebrant here is His Lordship Bishop John Rodericks, the Auxiliary Bishop of the Archdiocese of Bombay. At this Holy Mass, we pray for all the devotees who have come and all those who came on 13th day of every month and on first Saturdays. Let us pray for all devotees, our benefactors, donors and well-wishers. A gentle reminder, please keep your mobile phones on silent mode and please stand up and welcome our main celebrant. God is the source of all goodness, of truth, of love. And His plan is that every human being experiences this salvation and love in Christ. And Mary has a special role in God's plan of salvation. And so we gather together at this shrine to honor her and to seek her intercession. We offer her the best that we can to listen to her guidance and to seek to do God's will as she did. Apan ikatra zamlo ahot mate mariya cha sanadivshi ti sarvanchi aai ahe ti aplea saati vinanti karata hai hu aplea la margadashan karata hai ki apan parmeshura chi ichya pramane vagawe God has raised up people down the ages who continue to remind us of the call to holiness, to a life of love and of sharing God's message with others. We thank God for those three little children, Lucia, Jacinta and Francisco, who opened their hearts to Mother Mary's message and sought to communicate that to everyone. May the Lord continue to guide us through the intercession of our Blessed Mother, may we seek to do God's will. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Jesus Mary in the words of Jesus, all the angels and saints, and told my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the Lord our God, 
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us give praise to the Father, Son, and Spirit in the words of the Gloria. mother of your son to be our mother also grant us that persevering in penance and prayer for the salvation of the world we may further more effectively each day the reign of Christ who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit God forever and ever from the book of Exodus. Amalek came and fought with Israel at Raphidim. And Moses said to Joshua, Choose for us men and go out 
fight with Amalek. Tomorrow I will stand on the top of the hill with the rod of God in my hands. So Joshua did as Moses told him and fought with Amalek and Moses, Aaron and her went up to the top of the hill. Whenever Moses held up his hands, Israel prevailed and whenever he lowered his hands, Amalek prevailed. But Moses' hands grew weary, so they took a stone and put it under him. And he sat upon it, and Aaron and Hur held up his hands, one on one side and the other on the other side. So his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. And Joshua moved down Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword. The word of the Lord. Nice. As a response to the word of God, we will sing from Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. The man of God becomes fully equipped for every good work. Continue in what you have learned and have firmly believed, knowing from whom you have learned it and from childhood you have been acquainted with the sacred writings which are able to instruct you for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scriptures is inspired by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who is the judge, the living and the dead, and by his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word. Be urgent in season and out of season. Convince, rebuke, 
exhort, be unfailing in patience and in teaching. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand for the gospel acclamation. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary and he came to her and said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at saying and considered in her mind what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have won God's favor. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And for his kingdom there will not be end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no husband? And the angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called the Most High and Son of God. And behold, your king's woman Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. So with God nothing will be impossible. And Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. We pray for all sorts of things and different kind of requests and needs that we place before the Lord. Maybe right now as you come here to this shrine, you have in your heart your petition, your desire and you ask the Lord through the intercession of Mary that he may grant you this petition. We pray for our loved ones, we pray for someone who's sick, maybe someone who's looking out for a job, prays earnestly that he or she will get that or we pray 
that God will help us resolve a particular problem. Students pray that they do well in their exams. We pray for those who meet with difficulties. We pray for peace. We pray for ourselves, we pray for others, we pray for the whole world. God is listening to all these prayers. Sometimes we pray for rain very earnestly. And then when we have to go out, we tell God, Okay, now God, please stop the rain for a little while so that I can reach my destination. God listens to all our prayers and He knows what is best for us. And He grants us in His love what we require. When Mary appeared to those three little children, one of the messages she told them was, Pray. Pray the rosary. Pray for yourselves. Pray for others. Pray for the whole world. Pray. She was only telling them precisely what her son Jesus had told the disciples. Pray confidently. Pray always. Persevere in your prayer. And Jesus precisely taught the disciples to pray. And he himself prayed that way. Mary could tell those children, have confidence in God and know that he listens to your prayers. Precisely because she experienced that in her own life. As the gospel passage tells us, she is confused, but she does not doubt. And she asks for clarification. And then she realizes nothing is impossible with God. And so she can act confidently. She can pray perseveringly that the Lord will answer her prayers. We continue to pray as the Lord told us. We continue to intercede. We continue to place before him our petitions. And the Lord tells us, do not lose heart. Continue to pray. Pray in all circumstances. Pray at all times. And the assurance comes precisely that nothing is impossible for God. And God has shown that through the death and resurrection of his son. He has won the victory for us. Mary is told, the son to be born will be the Holy One. He will save the world and his kingdom will have no end. Jesus has won that victory for us over sin and death and evil. And therefore we can be confident and place our prayers within that victory of Jesus. That we too will share in that victory as we ask the Lord for our individual requests. And so every prayer of ours must be placed within the victory of Jesus. Our first reading from the book of Exodus tells us of the victory that the people of Israel win over the Amalekites. And it was precisely because Moses was raising his arms in prayer. Every time he kept his hands up, the Israelites would win over the opponents. If his hands dropped, they would then face defeat. And so as we heard, Aaron and Hur support Moses and keep his hands up in prayer so that Israel is able to be victorious. We pray that we will share in that victory because that victory that the people of Israel won was precisely pointing to the great victory of Jesus on the cross. The victory over sin and death and evil. That his kingdom will last forever. And so we are to pray with confidence that God's kingdom will be established in all its fullness. When Jesus taught the disciples to pray, he says, he taught them the Our Father. And he gave them that beautiful words of prayer. A model and a pattern for all prayer. And therefore we pray with confidence, we pray with trust in the Father. Apan Atma Vishwasane Prabhukari Eto, Ani Pratna Karto, Pratik Stiti Made, Karan Prabhu Yeshu Kristane, Vijay Milvilahe, Dushta Viruddha, Papa Viruddha, Mrutyu Viruddha. And so with confidence we pray. We pray the words of the Our Father. Atma Vishwasane Apan Prabhupad Prayeshwara Kari Eto, Amcha Swargiya Papa, Ani Manun Ami Manushakto, कि त्याचे नाव पवित्र मानले जाओ त्याची इच्छा आपल्या जीवनात होईल त्याचे राज्य स्थापन होईल प्रत्येक जगामध्ये प्रत्येक परिस्थितीमध्ये संपूर्ण जगामध्ये वी प्रे विथ कॉन्फिडन्स अँड देन वी प्रे आर ओन पिटिशन्स फॉर आर मेटेरियल नीड्स 
Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And so we place our prayer within the victory of God, within the coming of his kingdom in all its glory. We are therefore to pray with confidence as Mary pray, prayed, nothing will be impossible to God. She believed already that what God was going to do for her son and for the world would be done in her life too. Our second reading tells us to pray so that we will be equipped for every good gift. Paul says to Timothy, do not miss any opportunity to do good. I shall pass through this world but once. Whatever good is there, whatever act of kindness I can do, anything that I can do for the good of any human being, let me do it now. Let me not defer it, neglect it, for I shall not pass this way again. These words of Stephen Grellet are so appropriate of what Paul tells us in the second reading. Be equipped for good work. Meditate on the scriptures. Let the word of God nourish you so that you will be able to do the good that God wants you to do. Pray that he will give you that strength to do that good, that kindness, that act of generosity that God wishes to do in your life through you as an agent. At every Eucharist, we precisely join in that victory of Jesus. And we pray for our individual needs, we pray for others, we pray for our loved ones, that this victory of God will take further root in our lives. God acts on behalf of the weak, of those who are neglected, and God takes their side. As we heard in the first reading from the book of Exodus, God is with the people of Israel, strengthening them. In every situation that they faced a difficulty, God was there with them. When they had no food in the desert, God provided manna for them. When they were thirsty, he gives them water to drink. When they faced their opponents, as we heard, he is there strengthening them and giving them victory. Je durbal ahet, Prabhu Parmeshwar tiyanchi madad karte, karmanta hai. Je garzavant ahet, Prabhu Parmeshwar tiyanchi madad karata hai. Je arzanit ahet, Prabhu Parmeshwar tiyanchi madad karata hai. God helps us in every situation, especially when we are weak and struggling and in difficulty. He continues to invite us to pray with confidence. Mary entrusted to those little children this message to pray always, to repent and to seek to live as God wanted them to live. She asked them to pray the rosary in a very specific way, to turn away from evil, to turn towards God. Very often we feel because of our religious practices, because of our regular coming to church, that we are doing God's will. But sometimes that may not happen in our lives. We may say to ourselves, yes, I'm trying to follow the commandments, but we must seek to do God's will as Mary did. We must seek to grow in holiness. We cannot be neutral. I'm not doing any wrong to anyone, therefore I am with God. No, we must make that effort to draw closer to the Lord, to turn towards Him, to be oriented towards Him. अगर हम कहते हैं मैं तो कुछ गलत नहीं काम कर रहा हूं ठीक है मैं परमेश्वर के साथ हूं नो हम तो कोशिश करना चाहिए कि प्रभु परमेश्वर के अनुसार की इच्छा अनुसार हम जीवन जगना चाहिए वी शुड बी एबल टू डू दैट इन आर लाइफ्स देन वी कैन से यस वी आर मूविंग क्लोजर टू गॉड वी आर सीकिंग टू ग्रो इन होलीनेस वी विश टू बी लाइक चिल्ड्रन ऑफ मैरी व्हेन वी आर एबल टू डू दैट वी रियलाइज द ग्रेट थिंग्स गॉड हैज डन फॉर अस we realize how much he has blessed us and how he has saved us through his son Jesus. As we participate in this Eucharist, as we pray the rosary, we seek to be more closely united to Christ. May we share in his victory. And as Mary invites us to pray the rosary, to pray fervently, to pray with confidence. We pray not just for ourselves, but we pray for everyone who has asked us to pray for them. We bring to her 
all our petitions. We ask our Blessed Mother to pray for us, to trust that nothing is impossible with God. God has won the victory for us. Kindly stand now as we profess our faith in God. The Apostles' Creed, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Prayer of the faithful. Let us with confidence place our petitions before the Lord as we acknowledge the victory of Jesus. Let us lift up to the Lord all those who are present here at this feast of Our Lady of Fatima. With confidence, our response will be, Lord, graciously hear our prayer. Together, Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear our prayer. For the Pope and all the leaders of the Church, that they may become messengers of God's love, mercy and justice, and may never ignore or neglect the sick and the poor. We pray, Lord, Lord graciously hear our prayer. prayer. For the leaders of our country and all the civil authorities, that they may work honestly to alleviate the sufferings of the poor people. We pray, Lord, Lord graciously hear our prayer. prayer. For the poor, the sick, and differently able, that the government and the civil authorities may take care of them. We pray, Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear our prayer. prayer. For all the benefactors, well-wishers and don donors who are supporting us in the past and helping us with construction of Pilgrim House, we pray, Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear our prayer. prayer. For our devotees and who are participating in this Eucharistic celebration, that we may experience God's blessing through the intercession of Our Lady of Fatima, we pray, Lord, Lord graciously hear our prayer. prayer. We place before the Lord our own petitions and we pray for those who have asked us to pray for them. For this we pray, Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear our prayer. prayer. God our loving Father, Enlighten our hearts and our minds. May we become living witnesses of your compassion and love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord sacrifice to their hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our great and holy Church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of our devotion, and grant that we who celebrate your Son's work of boundless charity may through the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary be confirmed in love of you and of our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. And to praise, bless and glorify your name. In veneration of the blessed ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son. And without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. <laughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, 
until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring out the fullness of charity together with Francis R. Pope, Oswald R. Bishop and all the clergy. Remember, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, sinners, we pray, that of the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. 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 Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For the communion, those are sitting in front of us, please move your chairs to one corner. All of you, and remain standing for another five minutes. So it will be easy for us to distribute the communion. The Magi Kurchi Vadi Baslil Ahit, yes, Church Chava, Samur, State Samur, the Sarvani Kurcha, Uslai Chaitani, Ekatra Karai Chait, Ekatra Karai Chait Kurcha.
communion. Grant to your church, O Lord, that strengthened by the power of this sacrament, she may eagerly walk in the pathways of the gospel until she reaches the blessed vision of peace, which the Virgin Mary, your lowly handmaid, already enjoys eternally in glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, on behalf of Bishop John, Father Paul, Father Dennis, and Father Christopher, I wish a happy feast to one and all. Response. Response. Okay. Now, I want to say very special thanks to Bishop John Rodericks. You know Bishop John Rodericks as a bishop, but I know Bishop John Rodericks as a seminarian because I know his brother Savio, brother Luke, and bishop now is John. Very simple and humble family of Bandra. From clap up to clap up to Behind the police station, they got a beautiful house, four bedroom flat, four bedroom house, very big, huge one. And his mother was those days Bishop Bosco started widow's movement, and she was head of diocese. So she was taking good care of all the widows. And at that time, I know this family. And of course, Bishop uh, Savio, who is in Dadar now, taking, uh, teaching the seminarians for the priesthood. One priest that is Father Luke is in Jesuits. And we are the most fortunate to have the talented and, wait, 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 wait. Talented, highly intellectual priest and now is a bishop. So I am really proud of Bishop John to help him with us to celebrate this Holy Eucharist. So Bishop John, we are really thank you and I am especially from deep down my heart, I am sincerely thanking you. Please come forward, we want to honor you with the bouquet. Now clap the clap, clap loudly. Okay, wonderful. Bishop deserves claps. Also, I want to thank in a very special way whom? Whom? Father Alvin. See? So Father Alvin and Prashant and their team from last four days they have been here with me for preparing for this feast. Prashant, of course, playing keyboard and beautiful melodious singing. So, thank you for the Alvin and the choir members in his team. <laughs> Liturgy, those who came on the altar today and broke the word of God, read the word of God. So, I want to thank in a very special way. Usher's head, you can see Maria K sitting here. You can stand. She had done a wonderful job for today, though the crowd was very big. She managed. And those who were helping her, also really great. So, thank you for all the people, those who are ushering today. The palki, you can see, it was decorated by Nelson and Samba. So I want to thank them. All the Conway sisters, Jivan Jyoti, that is 16 kilometers away, who are taking care of destitute women, CTC who takes care of our spiritual life, that is they are running the retreat house, and Good Shepherd, they are giving education to children and discipline, manners. We have principal here, Sister Amala. And we have one more congregation, sisters are there. Uh, no, that. Okay, so they are not here. So Bishop would like to meet them. 
after this mass in our residence, priest residence, for the short meeting. Ramona, who has been, never came front on the altar, but last three years, without taking, without taking anything, she has been sincerely working. So please put up your hands together for Ramona. And Ramona, if you are here, you can show your face to our people. This pendal, you like it? Yes. It is done by Mr. Sambaji, who is here, I don't know. So I thank Sambaji. And I have two people working for us, for the church, that is Ashok and Deepak, tirelessly, anytime, see that cleanliness, everything, they are taking care. So I want to thank both of them. Today's food is, I just calculated, these people are only 2,000. But those people have contribute, contributed, I want to mention the names. Jerry Disoza from Khargar, Anil Pace from Okola Church, and Liril and family from Nerar. They are giving us Pau Bhaji, okay? So there is one tempo is standing, I asked how many Pau's are there. 10,000 Pau they bought. So you don't have to rush. Everybody is going to get 4 to 6 Pau, okay? Multiply, I will ask Bishop to pray for it. <laughs> After this, Pau is over, but the Almighty is going to conduct prayer service, prayer and worship and healing service. Also, I want to thank very special way Divine Hope Culture and Sports Welfare Association for their band. This is their 12th year. They are coming to Karjat for a procession and distributing drinking water and flower, flowers for Our Lady. Also, we have one more band. They started coming from last year. Band name, I do not know, but that master name is Ozzy. He is from Dongri. Oscar from Dongri they, is known as Ozzy Master. So, Ozzy Master, wherever you are, you can come before the altar. We will we'll see you and we will honor you. But if you are not there, also we will clap for Ozzy and team. And finally, I want to tell you all the people who are asking all these years, Father, is there any place to stay, accommodation? And I spoke to Eminence Cardinal Oswald Gracious and immediately within a week, he gave me a permission to start the work. But Cardinal did not forget to put at the end one line, do Louis, do we have sufficient fund? And I said, with the help of our lady of Fatima and my devotees, I think there is sufficient fund. And people have been supporting. And now we have already put two slabs. One more slab will be ready. And 13th of May, inauguration of the Pilgrim House will be there. And for that, we will call Cardinal Ivan, Cardinal Oswald Gracious. So I want to thank all the donors and those who wish to contribute for our fund, please do so. And all of you, those who are present here, though it was a little bit inconvenient, a little hot, but still you managed to stay for a longer time and patiently listening to us and participate participated in prayer. Thank you. God bless you. And without forgetting, Savio. He has taken everybody's photo. Okay? So now he'll put on YouTube and it will remain for 40 years. So you can watch. And thank you, Savio, for all these things. Please stand for final blessing. Sorry. Could we join our hands together one and a mighty clap to the Lord for our parish priest, Father Lewis. Yeah. Yeah.
Yes, Father Lewis, we thank God for you and for all the wonderful work that you are doing here in making the facilities available, the pilgrim house that is almost complete now, and welcoming so many and praying together with them. May our Blessed Mother continue to guide you in your priestly ministry and through you, all the people who come here. May the Lord bless each one of you and Mother Mary hold you close to her heart. May God bless each one of you. A happy feast. Kindly, your response to the, to the invocations of the blessing will be Amen. May Almighty God bless you in His kindness and pour out saving wisdom upon you. Amen. May He nourish you always with the teachings of the faith and make you persevere in holy deeds. Amen. May He turn your steps towards Himself and show you the path of charity and peace. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.